Hello everyone, can I quickly say, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. A shocking only 2.6% of you guys are subscribed. That's 2.6% out of 100%. Can you believe that? All it means is you guys just clicking a button. It really helps this channel out. It really helps me personally. I just need people to subscribe. I would love it if you could. If you have already subscribed, then thank you very much. And let's get on with the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Foo49 Studios. In today's LEGO video, we will be analyzing all the summer 2020 LEGO Star Wars sets. So guys, it's been quite a week for me. I've been doing work on and off for my LEGO Stop Motion movie. I've also been making some LEGO comparisons. And all that stopped when I saw the new summer 2020 LEGO Star Wars sets. I saw all the images on Instagram. So with all that said, I haven't made a video in a week now. So I do apologize for that. Thank you for your patience. But I'm here now, and we're going to be discussing all the new LEGO Star Wars Summer 2020 sets. And we got so much to cover. I'm going to go through all of them. All of them except for the Razor Crest and the AT-AT. I covered those in other videos. You can check those out if you want. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into the video. So guys, to start things off, let's start off with a set that you've already probably heard me talk about. And yes, this is the 501st Battle Pack. Anyway guys, the reason why I wanted to cover this 501st Battle Pack is because LEGO's actually made an attempt at trying to replicate the Long Rifle Blaster from Star Wars. Now LEGO has actually added a candle piece onto that Long Rifle Blaster, which makes it look really cool. So I do really like this touch. Also, you can see from the box art, there's a 332nd Clone Trooper, which is super exciting, and I'll get to that in a bit. It's really cool because when I was making my Clone Wars box art sets, I thought that they would have specific clones. So, for example, I had Cody in a set that Cody was going to come in. Well, that's kind of what LEGO's done. They've had 332nd Trooper isn't shown in the set, but I guess that's kind of like the mascot character for the whole wave of LEGO Star Wars. So that's really cool to see. So let's move on to another set. This is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. So this set I have a ton of problems with. This set has been made before, and there's hardly any differences. You can see a couple differences with some of the Lego pieces, but otherwise that, it looks so dang similar to Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I've done a comparison paired to Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. If you want to see that, you can. Anyway, this set... It's just so boring on so many levels. The minifigures are boring. Anakin is literally the same Anakin. There's a couple new prints, I think. R2, you get him in so many other sets. This set is just plain out boring. If you have Jedi Anakin's Interceptor from 2014, or even if you have the Jedi Anakin's Starfighter from 2018, I honestly do not recommend this set. Moving on, this is probably one of my favorite LEGO sets of all time. This is the Armored Assault Tank. And, oh my gosh, I love this. And it looks so good. Some people might not be happy with the design, but me personally, I love the design. It's not, you know, super large and massive like the 2008 version. And it's not super small and crappy like the 2015 version. It's a mix in between. It's sleek and it's new. It looks so good. I honestly... Love this set. I never picked up the AAT in 2008 because around then I was only like three years old or whatever. I wasn't really into LEGO Star Wars. Anyway, over the past years, I've bought a ton of LEGO Republic sets. Building my Republic army is so fun and, you know, kids love making clone armies and stuff. But I've never had something to really counter it. Plus, the minifigures are great. You get two Kashyyyk bow droids, and if they weren't enough, you also get a 332nd trooper, which looks awesome. He's exclusive. You'll only get him in this set. I love that. And that's not even it. You also get Ahsoka, which is super cool to see. I love how they've made a new Ahsoka version. I was really skeptical. I really didn't think they were going to make in a Lego Ahsoka minifigure. I mainly thought this because I doubted they were going to make a new hair mold for her. But they've just reused her older version of her, you know, horn neck piece. Which is kind of a shame. I wish they made a smaller version of that to be more accurate. But honestly, I'm fine. I think Ahsoka looks great. All the printing looks great. All the minifigures alone look awesome. And the build looks great. This has got to be one of my favorite sets. I honestly recommend this 100%. You should pick this up. Alright, the next set is the Knights of Ren transport ship. Honestly, I'm pretty stoked on the design. I think the minifigures are pretty good. There's not a lot of them. And for 70 bucks, 
It's kind of a bit lacking, but you get two new Knights of Ren, which have exclusive helmet molds. And if you're a fan that's been collecting all the Knights of Ren, this is definitely a set for you. Also, the build, I think they have, LEGO's done a really good job. The detail is definitely there, and I think they've made a actually very well-rounded offset. Has spring load shooters, has some cannons, has a bit of an interior. It looks pretty cool. It also comes with Rey Skywalker, which is great. You could only get Rey in the Pisana Speeder Chase previously, which honestly was a crap set, super overpriced. But now you can get Rey in this in other sets, which is good to see. Also, the Knights of Ren, they look fabulous. They look fantastic. Actual ship looks really cool. And I already got Kylo Ren's shuttle. So to complete my sequel trilogy fleet, I would need the Knights of Ren flagship. So this is definitely a set I'm going to pick up. If you're a fan of Rise of Skywalker and if you want to complete the Knights of Ren collection, this is definitely the set for you. Moving on, we have General Grievous' Starfighter. Now, I got, I got a lot to say about this. When I first saw a leaked image like three months ago, I was super psyched. I was super hyped up. I thought they were going to come out with a Phase 2 Cody. Everyone was talking about it. I was kind of skeptical, but I mean, most of the people are talking about it. Turns out that's not true. We're not getting a Phase 2 Cody. We're getting an Airborne Trooper. And honestly, I don't think this is that bad. The minifigures are pretty good. To get an airborne trooper, you, which you can't really get besides getting the battle pack from 2014. Also, Obi-Wan, he's the same version from the battle on Mustafar, which is kind of a letdown. But I mean, it's fine. And you get General Grievous. Now, this is the main reason why I want to get this set. Because of that General Grievous minifigure. I don't have a General Grievous. I actually used to, but the head snapped. I was, I guess, uh, playing with him too rough. So, kind of on my fault, but I don't want to order one from eBay or something like that. And General Grievous' Starfire is a really iconic build, I would think. And I actually would really like a General Grievous' Starfire. I know my brother really likes General Grievous as one of his favorite Star Wars villains. So I think this set is a really cool set. The actual build looks pretty cool. You got some spring load shooters. You got some stud shooters. Cockpit area. I think this set and the minifigs are pretty decent. They're really good. Now, here's where the set sucks. $80. Oh my god, $80? Are you for real? You're gonna charge people $80 for a set that comes with three minifigures and only like 400 pieces? What are you doing, Lego? This is insane. No way should anyone have to pay $80 for this set. So, I'm gonna wait for this set to go on sale. Sometime it has to go on sale, even if it's 20-50% off, I'll use all my coupon codes, or I just need to get this set, and I'm only gonna get the set if it's on sale. No way am I paying $80. I mean, you guys don't deserve this. We don't deserve this. We shouldn't have to pay $80 for a set that is basically a remake with minifigures that have already come out in previous sets. I'm just gonna have to wait for a sale to get this set. Now, moving on to the next set had no rumors. No one was really talking about it. No one really knew what it was going to be. Anyway, what it came down to was actually Death Star Final Jewel, and I I'm mixed about it. This set is really cool. I love this set from um 2015. I never picked it up, but I thought it was a really awesome set. Now, this set is a direct remake or a, a re-release. The minifigures are slightly updated. The build's a lot updated, and I actually think the build is much better. Has these red kind of panel things that are really cool. Well, personally, I've been working on a, a stop-motion LEGO Star Wars video that's going to be coming out on this channel soon, so stay tuned to that. Anyway, this kind of scene area actually appears in that movie that I'm making. I was actually just going to build my own kind of Death Star thing, and, well, it so happens that LEGO just released a remake of the Death Star Final Jewel. So I might get this up. But at $100, it's... I already have a Darth Vader. I already have an Emperor Palpatine. Luke Skywalker is not hard to find. Ugh, it's hard. I might. I might not. It's really up to you for this set. But that's not all. There is another set. Yes, guys. There is another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2020 set. That is the Resistance ITS Transport Ship. Now, I'm going to give my full opinions. At first, I thought this was the troop transport ship from Episode 8. You know, the ones that they escaped to the Battle of Crate and that thing. I thought that would be a really cool idea. These vehicles were heavily featured in that movie, and I thought this was going to kind of be a Resistance version of that. Turns out it's a set based off of this fairground. Now, what? They're Legos basing a Lego Star Wars set to sell... For people that have been on that ride. This is a major mistake. First off, the minifigures suck. 
You get two minifigures that are okay looking. You get a cool buildable gonk droid. But honestly, you can make that with the pieces you have already. You get an astromech droid. So the minifigures are majorly a letdown. Now, I've heard other people talk about this. How it's outrageous that for a set, you're only getting two minifigures with such a big build. Not only that, but if you're going to release a Lego set that's going to sell to kids of all ages, no one is going to know who these characters are. No one's going to really care for a ship that they haven't seen. It's like making a set that's, you know, it's like making a vehicle that's never appeared in any source of media. Just no one's going to buy it. Honestly, you could get away with it if it was a cheap set and it came with some cool minifigures, like the Captain America bike set from Avengers Endgame. That set didn't appear anywhere in a media, but the minifigures were cool enough to actually make it sell. Here... This set is, you know, 80, 100, 60, 70, 120 dollars. And it comes with minifigures that no one really cares about, that you can kind of get anywhere else. They're just re some resistance characters. So, what's the draw for this set? And that's my main complaint. I just don't see why people are actually going to buy this set. Personally, I see no reason why anyone is going to buy this set. Well, overall, guys, I'm pretty happy with this wave. If you get all of these sets, then you'll have really the three main heroes. You got Ahsoka, Anakin, and Obi-Wan. And it's been a long time since we've gotten all these figures in a single wave of Star Wars. A pretty awesome wave of LEGO Star Wars. One of the best. The only complaint I have is that there's no Captain Rex. I was really hoping for a LEGO Captain Rex just in one of these sets. Captain Rex in his Phase 2 armor has remained exclusive to this set. That's kind of a shame. But hopefully in the coming years of 2021, we will get a LEGO set of Captain Rex in it. Well guys, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a long video. This is probably one of my longest videos, but we've had so much Star Wars sets, so much sets to talk about. Remember, please subscribe. I really want to get monetized so I can start earning money off YouTube. That would be great. And with everything said, have a good day.